We are going to announce a new challenge for our channel for the month of October. And if you've been around on our channel for any period of time, you know that we do a lot of cooking and canning and preserving at home. But it's October, it's the end of the garden season, and my pantry, it's time to do a clean out challenge. So for the month of October, we are doing a pantry and freezer clean out challenge. I hope you will make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to our channel so you can see what happens with this. We're going to be cooking, documenting, showing menu plans, and all that kind of good stuff to encourage you and inspire you to start your own freezer and pantry clean out challenge. And if you're going to join us be sure to comment below and let me know what kind of challenge you are embarking on for the month of October even though we're trying to do a no shopping challenge for the month of October we do have a couple guidelines that we set for ourselves just in case so Art's gonna tell us about those what are they Art? We can buy milk and eggs and if we find a fabulous deal one that we're probably not gonna see for a very long time we do have the right to go and purchase that and I'm thinking along the lines of nuts and things like that things that are really expensive that I don't see often on a distress list and you guys might be asking what's a distress list our bulk food suppliers have items that sometimes get damaged when they're either in transit or being moved around the warehouse and those items they usually deeply discount so nuts are one of those high value items that usually pop up really quickly and if they go on that distress list you need to hop on it quickly because it's a huge savings the other item that you might see on a distress list is butter butter the last time I got butter it was 99 cents a pound now I had to buy a seven pound bucket of it but 99 cents a pound is unheard of for butter in our area so those are the conditions that we have we can buy milk we can buy eggs and we can buy an amazing deal like that if it comes up it probably won't but just in the off chance I don't want to feel like oh I miss out on such a good deal last thing we are going to do this week because I'm filming this the last week of September we're going to be buying a few uh, fresh fruits and vegetables to get us through for the first week or two now this challenge is primarily for cleaning out and reducing the amount of food we have in our pantry and in our freezer and we don't want to necessarily reduce the amount of produce that we're intaking so our standard diet is one of a balanced fruits vegetables and healthy um, healthy carbs and proteins and if you're new to our channel we have nine people in our family pretty much feeding five adults and the rest are children and smaller amounts and our typical food budget is right around $75 a week for our family and since we're going to be using whatever food we have in our pantry I'm going to have to be get really creative and do a lot of cooking over the next four weeks so we'll see what kind of interesting dishes I can come up with I also see this as an excellent opportunity to be cooking with my family Lydia the little girls Lydia Mary and Grace love cooking with mommy so this should be a fun and interesting month when I did this challenge last year I had a lot of fun with it but it was also a little stressful the thing that I'm gonna to try to do differently this year is I'm going to do menu planning if you want to watch last year's challenges make sure you check out the playlist on the side of the screen here and you can watch all of those past videos from our food challenge last year a couple things I learned from it last year that I'm hoping to fix this year is I'm going to be menu planning our way through the pantry challenge so there won't be as much questions of what should I make what should I do with this I'm hoping to be able to menu plan week by week and make sure that I am um, intentionally using up what is in my pantry and make a dent last year it was there were some challenges knowing what to do with some of those items I will probably have more of those items and I'll be asking you guys for suggestions and I'll probably be doing that on either Instagram or Facebook and you have you haven't checked out those links those are down in the description below and you can give your input on what I should do with some of these more odd and exotic items in my pantry. All right, what are you most excited about with the pantry challenge? I love cleaning out stuff. I love simplification. The fewer things, the better. And so I will be happy to get rid of all that excess stuff that we have. 
Do you think that we are going to find any strange or odd item in there? Well, you just cleaned it out, and I think there are a few odd things in there. So, yes, we will. If we use up all the odd items in our pantry before the end of the month, is that going to be considered successful? Are we going to keep going on with the no shopping challenge, or are we going to say, no, we, we accomplished our goal, we can go back to shopping? Well, okay. Uh, we'll keep not shopping and we'll consider it a double success. All right. So that's the exciting happenings on our channel for the month of October. Please be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell down below next to that so you get notifications when we put up our new videos. We usually post new videos Monday through Saturday with an occasional day off in, in there. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you for our next video. Bye!